Super investors are buying these 10 stocks. No joke. Should you consider them too? Dataroma tracks portfolios of value-oriented super investors by extracting data from financial filings such as 13Fs. This information can be an effective tool and a good starting point for finding investment opportunities in the stock market. However, it's important to bear in mind the following points. These stocks are only what show up in these investors' filings. They don't include cash or bond holdings. They also don't include much of their overseas portfolios. Portfolio holdings are usually reported mid-quarter and show the investment schedule at the end of the previous quarter. We'd advise looking at the stock chart for that security over the last several months to get an idea of what the price these investors were buying in at. There's only one reason investors buy, but there's potentially multiple reasons they would sell. While a reported security purchase may be a good indicator of a manager's confidence in the stock, the opposite is not necessarily true with a stock sale. As a general rule, buys are considered more significant than sells. It's of the utmost importance that viewers independently evaluate a security and not blindly follow the investment activities of the super investors covered. You'll want to watch to the end when we cover the number one stock investors bought in the last quarter. Starting with MasterCard, they were the 10th largest buy by investors recently. Seven different investors added to their positions in MasterCard. They're down just $6 from their 52-week high. MasterCard trades 50% above its 52-week lows, which were around $275. As of when these filings came out, the hold price at the end of the quarter for MasterCard was around $393. MasterCard is the second largest payment processor in the world, having processed close to over $8 trillion in transactions during 2022. MasterCard operates in over 200 countries and processes transactions in over 150 currencies. The company has insane profitability metrics with gross margins of over 70%. Their average net margin is 39%. Right now, the company does trade above its historical valuation metrics, coming in at nearly a 39 times price to earnings multiple, an enterprise to free cash flow ratio of 38 times, and an enterprise value to revenue of nearly 17 times. MasterCard's owned by a large number of super investors. MasterCard's owned by Valley Forge Capital Management, Chuck Ockrey, Guy Spear, Thomas Russo. It's also in Berkshire Hathaway's portfolio, likely as an investment from Todd Combs. Terry Smith, who's been called the British Warren Buffett, also has MasterCard in his Fundsmith portfolio. Across the board, it's owned by 18 super investors. It's the 10th most popular recent buy, and it's the 8th largest super investor holding overall. Next, we have Alphabet. Alphabet, the parent company of Google, was bought by 7 super investors in the quarter. Alphabet's owned by a whopping 27 super investors overall. It's in the portfolios of Lee Lu, who Charlie Munger calls the Chinese Warren Buffett, Brian Lawrence, Pat Dorsey, Bill Ackman, Thomas Russo, Seth Klarman, Wally Weitz, Google's practically owned across the board. As of the end of the last quarter, Google's hold price is $121. Right now, it trades for $138, 65% above its 52-week lows of just $83 a share. Google's been one of the top performers in the last year. No surprise, it's a super investor buy. Next is a company that might not be as well known, but it's a big position by an investor who Warren Buffett said he would trust to run his own money. Fidelity National Information Services, stock ticker FIS. Seven super investors also bought into the business in the most recent quarter, with just nine investors owning the company overall. There's also been insider buys at the company in the last six months. The biggest position in FIS is from Seth Klarman, who Warren Buffett said he would reportedly trust to invest his own money. FIS makes up 6.7% of Seth Klarman's 13F filings. Bowpost invests a lot in private deals and real estate as well, so it doesn't represent all their assets under management. Still, it's a sizable position. The company's a core processor for banks, but its business has expanded over time. They acquired SunGuard in 2015 and WorldPay in 2019. Now they're in the process of unwinding that WorldPay acquisition after it was pretty much a botched deal. They also hold leading positions in the United States and the UK, providing payment processing services for merchants. The company has international reach with nearly a fourth of their revenues generated outside the US. FIS had a hold price of $55 per share. Right now it trades for $57 a share, which is 21% above their 52-week lows of $48. But we're just getting started. Up next, we have Elevance Health. This was also bought by seven super investors. Right now, it trades below its hold price of $444 per share. 
it's trading for $435 per share, just 6% above its 52 week lows. You'd have an opportunity to look at this company for cheaper than what super investors were buying in. Eight super investors have positions in Elevance Health overall, including Glenn Greenberg, the Sequoia Fund, and a number of smaller recent ads. Legendary value investor Michael Burry of the Big Short fame had a position in Elevance Health just last quarter, but it seems Scion Capital Management is no longer invested in the business. Elevance Health is one of the leading health insurers in the United States, providing medical benefits to over 48 million medical members as of June of 2023. It's the single largest provider of Blue Cross Blue Shield coverage, operating as the licensee in 14 states. Through recent acquisitions, it's also expanded into other government programs. At number six, we have Taiwan Semiconductor. They were also bought by seven different super investors this quarter with a hold price of $101 per share. Taiwan Semiconductor trades for just $88 per share right now. This is still $30 above their 52 week lows with the company trading 51% above that mark. Similar to Elevance Health, you may have an opportunity to buy into this company cheaper than some other super investors. Taiwan Semiconductor is owned by 13 super investors overall. Recently, big positions were added by Daniel Loeb and David Tepper. It's also in the Sequoia Fund and it's in Lone Pine Capital. Warren Buffett actually had an investment in the company in the end of 2022, although he changed his mind and exited the position in early 2023. TSMC is the world's largest dedicated chip foundry with almost 60% market share. It supported the shift to a fabulous business model for semiconductor companies. It has an insane customer base, including Apple, AMD, and Nvidia. By far, it's one of the most cutting edge companies in the world. Geographically, most of its manufacturing is done on the island of Taiwan, though they have broken ground on new fabs in Europe and the Southwest United States. Halfway through our list brings us to Walt Disney. The company trades for $82 per share, which is down from its hold price of $89 per share. It's just 2.5% above their 52 week lows. Eight super investors bought into the company in the most recent quarter. Walt Disney's an iconic company that 11 super investors own overall. Nelson Peltz had an activist campaign with the business. 15% of his Treon fund is invested into Walt Disney. Disney's also positioned by Linsell Train, Pat Dorsey, and Christopher Bloomstrand. It's an iconic company that owns the rights to some of the most recognizable characters in the world, from Mickey Mouse to Luke Skywalker. Trading just above its 52-week lows, Disney could be an interesting company to look at. We're just warming up with our fourth company, JP Morgan Chase. This is the second financial on this list. Right now it trades for $148 per share, just $3 above its hold price. It's up 48% from its 52 week lows of just under $100. JP Morgan Chase was bought by eight super investors in the quarter. Overall, 11 super investors have positions in JP Morgan Chase, including Chris Davis, who's on the Berkshire Hathaway Board of Directors. Jamie Dimon's well regarded as one of the top bankers in the industry as the CEO of JP Morgan Chase. JP Morgan's one of the largest and most complex financial companies in the US. It has nearly $4 trillion in assets. At number three, we have Visa with eight super investors buying into the company as well. They trade $40 above their 52 week lows and just $5 above a hold price of $237. Similar to its main competition, MasterCard, Visa's in the portfolios of a ton of different super investors. It's more than a 10% position in a few. It's nearly that in Chuck Ockrey's portfolio. Visa is also owned by Terry Smith, and most likely Todd Combs owns a position in Visa in Berkshire Hathaway's public stock portfolio. Visa is the largest payment processor in the world. It processed more than $14 trillion in total volume in 2022. It operates in more than 200 countries and processes transactions in 160 currencies. Its systems are incredibly complex, processing over 65,000 transactions per second. Very similar to MasterCard, Visa has huge margins. The company's also trading for high valuations historically, clocking in at a 31 times PE and a 15 and a half times price to sales ratio. Number two, things are heating up. Here we have Amazon with eight super investors buying into the company. Amazon trades 67% above its 52 week lows. It's part of the magnificent seven that's been carrying the S&P 500. Amazon currently trades for $136 per share, just $6 above their $130 hold price. Similar to other big tech companies, 
Amazon's owned by a ton of super investors. 28 super investors have positions in the company. It's also been a recent big buy by Daniel Loeb, David Tepper, and Seth Klarman. An investor to watch, Josh Tarasoft, has 26% of his portfolio in Amazon. Also, Amazon's just one of three companies Nick Sleep was famously invested in. There's now a fourth that's added onto that, ASOS, but Amazon's still one of his largest positions. Amazon's the leading U.S. e-commerce retailer. It has nearly $600 billion of gross merchandise volume. Amazon's got a number of different cash engines in their business, including their Amazon.com marketplace, Amazon Prime, and their big profit driver, Amazon Web Services. The company's seen a big boost from the hype in artificial intelligence. This brings us to the number one super investor buy, Microsoft. The company is trading $14 below its hold price of $340. It's 54% above their 52-week lows. Microsoft was bought by nine super investors in the most recent quarter. Very similar to Amazon, Microsoft's owned by a ton of super investors. 32 different super investors have this in their portfolios. The largest position, no surprise, is in the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation Trust. Nearly a third of their trust is in Microsoft shares alone. Some of the other famous investors we've mentioned also have positions in Microsoft, including Chase Coleman, Terry Smith, Chris Hone, Josh Tarasoft, and David Tepper. Worth pointing out, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation put in nearly 27% of their portfolio in Microsoft just in the third quarter of 2022. Since then, this has grown even larger, making up nearly a third of their portfolio today. Microsoft's one of the most well-recognized software companies in the world. Known for its Windows operating system and Office suite, the company owns a huge number of services that are used every day, grouped under productivity and business processes, intelligence cloud, and personal computing. These include Microsoft Azure, Xbox, and Bing. Super investors tracked on Dataroma tend to be long-term investors with time horizons of at least three years. It often takes years for a stock's intrinsic value to be recognized. Many of the super investors tracked manage billions of dollars in assets, making small cap investing impractical, especially given their focused investment methodology. Therefore, there's a large cap bias in their portfolios. These are 10 stocks super investors are adding to their portfolio. Should you consider them for your own? If you like the video, subscribe to the channel for more.